I'm afraid so. I think that the, uh, you know, I've been writing in my research for many months that Europe is, is a, a, a complete mess. You have a combination of insufficient capital, ongoing legal uh, problems, level three assets, uh, non-performing loans, and an ECB which is unwilling to do what it needs to do in order to resuscitate uh, the situation. And so Europe is spreading deflation all over the world right now. You have most of Europe in deflation right now, which is a super dangerous uh, phenomenon for uh, a continent, you know, mired in, you know, sort of problematic corporate debt. And so I think the Fed can't move as long as Europe is in the problems that it's in. I think that if you have elections, uh, it's possible that he will actually could, could possibly strengthen his cards. Uh, but in any in any case, here's what's happening, right? So, just buying more government bonds is not going to do the trick. Uh, the reason why the uh, quantitative easing in America was was a success is because Bernanke knew from the start you have to buy risk assets. So the Fed bought a one and a half trillion dollars of risky private sector mortgage-backed securities. Japan, the Bank of Japan is going to have to engage in private sector purchases. I think the smartest thing they've done so far is to buy that Nikkei 400 um, good corporate governance index, I think was extremely smart. They have to do more of that and less of buying JGBs because uh, buying JGBs alone won't work. Yes, and you know, I was in Delhi last week, and I, and I, I was shocked to hear that the Reserve Bank of India is is worried about inflation, right? So, so, so here you have, you know, the the Indonesia worried about inflation, the U.S. worried about inflation, India worried about inflation. Look at what's happening with inflation all over the world. Inflation in India is collapsing. Inflation in China is one and a half percent. Look at the inflation headquarters in Asia, Vietnam. Vietnam's inflation is now 3%, right? So everywhere we are seeing, um, in, in Indonesia, it's gone from six to three. Uh, India, 12 to five. Um, China, four to one and a half, right? Uh, Vietnam, 16 to three. We are seeing a world with tremendous disinflation. For a central bank like the Reserve Bank of India to be worried about inflation is craziness. The yield curve in India is, is inverted. The RBI should be cutting rates immediately.